What a beautiful day. Things be sick. A very nice weather today to stay inside and draw some uh, comments. What is the top comment? Shala merch wearing Jazza merch. Anime Jesus terrible comments as usual. All right, so I didn't have time to draw background this time and I don't want to steal a gosh darn anime background. So what I will do instead is I'll just grab a photo from here. I have this great stalker camera that I'm sure you guys have missed. You can't escape from me. Oh Christ, there they sell gravestones there. That's disrespectful. I can't take a picture of that. There is a little slide there in the middle of that field though for some reason. Looks like a nice little playground for children. Today we will explore the wild once again. The last time I was here, there was a whole bunch of water here, but that's all gone now, that's history. This is dangerous. I like this rock, it's like where is all the water? I came here hoping there would be water. This is the same place where I filmed my merch announcement. Come, Come to the to Jala, Jala meetup, meet guys. guys. Although I do like this. Some soft stuff. Sick. Deli Cat Extra Smooth Vodka. I like that. Well, that was an adventure. I will now draw all of your comments surrounding me here. Let's check out what we've got going on in that comment section now. Don't even mention Jazza merch on this channel. How dare you? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna check out these top comments first. Anime Jesus, no. Re reverse centaur, human body from the waist down, horse body from the waist up. Uh, cool, this one, this one is uh, somewhat doable. Sometimes I feel like I should own this mask. All right, let's do some magic here. Let's get rid of that. This picture is now already looking like what it's supposed to look like. Maybe I should replace my hands with hooves then it will seem like it's a horse from the waist up because it was supposed to be from the waist up, but who cares? I'm not that committed to this comment. Let's uh, move on. An elderly Asian businessman, extremely confused at what he is is witnessing. Might just save this one for later. This will be one of the last things I'll do. Draw one of your characters dissolving like that one overused meme. It's gonna die out very soon. Draw a chair stealing CNM on. Is he just stealing a chair as usual or is a chair stealing him? I don't understand. Kanye as a scene kid doing an emotional dance in a corner. If no corners, then just off in the distance. Hey, Kanye is kind of relevant right now. I could uh, get some views by just putting him in the thumbnail, but hey, nobody will recognize him if he's a scene kid, so I'm gonna have to skip this one. A businesswoman, but the upper part of her body is a fish. This would be just the business fish from Facebook, but rule 63. I remember that from the times I used Facebook, the business fish was the hottest meme in Facebook Messenger. Draw someone wearing clothes you thought were cool back when you were 12 ish i like that i really like that i, I had a very very nice uh, style when i was 12. i was quite proud of it to be honest but i'm gonna have to find somebody to put inside these clothes you know what i'll just do the business woman fish thing my favorite top was a hoodie which was covered in black and red checkers and there were some skulls inside some of the red checkers. The year was 2008 and 2009. I had an existential crisis when I was 13 and was wearing this outfit. I remember that. Black and red. Uh, 
pretty. Oh, this is quite similar to what I had. I'll just put together the outfit here and then we'll draw it. Now, the next thing is the pants. Everybody wore skinny jeans and I, I really desperately wanted some for myself, but I didn't know where to purchase them. So that was bad. So I just wore some regular straight jeans. I was really jealous of everybody, but hey, maybe I'll just do a dream outfit of my 12 year old self. Black skinny jeans emo. Oh yeah, that's pretty dope. Those striped pants. Holy darn, I would have loved those. I'll just pick this first one. Emo belt. Oh yeah, there we go. It was my dream to own one of these. I never owned this, but I would have loved this so hard. Now for the shoes, these. For my school backpack, I didn't use a backpack. I used a bag that went over the shoulder, over one shoulder, and it was covered in patches and other stuff. Yeah, something like this. I didn't listen to emo music though. I listened to happy hardcore and uh, what, nightcore and hardstyle. Let's move on to the headwear. Oh my god. Yes. I think that's about it. Now, I just need a fish. Cool fish. This is nice. I'm ready to begin now. Let's get to it. All right, now the fish will be here on top of this uh, tire doing the thinking emoji thing, wondering where the water has gone. Actually, I'll go for a sort of a neutral position to show off the outfit better. This will be a nice fish fursona. I'll do like these suitable for swimming skin parts between the fingers. I don't know what the word is. I'm not an expert in English. Don't blame me. All right. That looks quite fishy, I think. Let's get to drawing that dope ass outfit that I designed that I would have wanted to wear myself, but only got to wear half of it because I didn't know where to get this stuff. And also my parents wouldn't buy me half of the stuff. So life sucked ass. I wasn't really emo. I didn't hate my life. Maybe I did sometimes, but most of the time I didn't. Only when my parents checked on my homework. All right, uh, the belt. I need to raise the hoodie up to show show the belt better. The belt is very important. I bet the person who made the comment about drawing these emo clothes knew exactly that I like talking about my nice youth days. It makes me feel old because I know for a fact that most of my viewers are like 13 or something and they never experienced the life of the 90s kids. Okay, actually I'm barely a 90s kid. I'm more of an O's kid. Now this is a woman fish, right? So let's give her some eyelashes. I loved having a part of my hair out from under the hat like this. I still find it hard to believe that there's a bunch of people out there that still dress like this in 2018. All right, that's nice. I like that. We're making some good progress. You know what would spice this up? Some emotion. There's supposed to be water here, but there isn't. So this is very in the character, not out of character at all. Back to the comments section. I'm just scrolling through the top comments here because I can't look at newest first. I can look at oldest first. That's bull crap. Fix that YouTube. I want to sort comments by newest first, but you can only do top comments and oldest first here. Draw yourself as a furry getting caught by an animal control version of yourself. I like how much thought went into this. You actually put some story behind the furry thing. Everybody just wants random XD furries. Draw a tsunami in the distance. I might just do that later. I might just add a tsunami coming in there to fill the thing up with water again. You could do a one-eyed child who is holding a balloon shaped like another eye. But little does everyone know the balloon is her real eye. That sounds like an oddly well thought out story or maybe it's just a presentation maybe this person writes fan fictions i don't like these top comments so i'm gonna see i'm gonna sort by oldest first maybe i'll draw this one because they were first and they didn't leave a first comment but rather an actual comment you were first and you weren't obnoxious about it this is my favorite eye of all time i'll just take it and i'll make it do the activity now let's see how i'll approach this 
there are, they didn't say that there are any legs they just said hands so why does this remind me of mike wazowski i swear to god even if i don't draw him i draw him in an episode you cannot escape mike wazowski in drawing your comments he will always be back maybe i should just make the eye green or something i wonder how mark really would feel about this somebody sent this to him all right that's nice perfection i'm very glad that i just drew this draw an invert mermaid playing the piano looks like this person wasn't as original they just wanted a comment quickly so they could be one of the first people so they just copy the first person a bit with the instrument playing draw logan paul to get the views i would draw anybody but logan paul to get views something with a furry if you can't think of anything you don't have to comment I'm just saying, draw lesbian Skrillex orchestrating the whole thing. Yeah, that's pretty good. I might just do this. I'll save this one for later as well. People remember this epic a character of the Chella channel. I'm glad they do. Rule 34 emo shell. I like how the profile pic compliments this comment. I feel like I should draw the tsunami. So that will open up a lot of uh, possibilities. I'm thinking of making the tsunami come in from here behind this rock and it's coming towards the foreground here <laughs> All right, I think that's good enough for now. It's like these three are preparing to be wiped out by the wave. Reminds me of Titanic, where the violin players were playing their last song before the ship sank and the tears here and the horse face and the okay hand signs. It all fits so perfectly. I could call this finished now. As promotion draw Beyonce in Chala merch. I love how, how, how everybody just does free merch promotion for me. However, as more people post comments with merch, it's not an easy way into the show anymore. Just not Mike Wiz, Wiz, Wizowski fix to late it already happened luigi gets a urethral sounding i like the effect this emote has on this comment a female chalagun lizard i like how you use the official term for that species these are oldest first right so somebody commented anime jesus and then anime jesus commented the chala merch wearing jazza merch that is illuminati at its finest maybe i should check out what jazza merch even looks like i like how jazza is a meme on my channel he can't do anything about it because he would give me publicity i don't give a crap that the zuckerberg thing is from two weeks ago maybe this will get me some attention i'm gonna try to draw a car caricature let's try to push the proportions of his face i am very inexperienced at this so what are the prominent features of his face the pupils cover m most of his eyeball so i'm gonna push that that's what i'm talking about this is probably the most nightmarish thing i've drawn in quite a while this is worse than that big chin guy i drew for some reason his e ears stand out to me so i'm gonna increase their size or something perfection might just color this now i'm just gonna color pick from the original because i'm lazy this is not an overly serious artwork normally i wouldn't do this but to save time i'm doing it <laughs> Well, I think it turned out great. Now we shall move on to making it do what it's supposed to do. This is going to make a great thumbnail, even though it's kind of lame. But still, the lameness makes it clickable. All right, the body is too big. Let's make his head just a bit bigger than the body. Now the shallow merch, right? So we are going to take care of that right when I'm done coloring this. I'm heavily considering making new merch. So when that launches, I'll be sure to use this series as promotion. Well, this exists now for some reason. Let's get that merch up in here. God, I'm, I've run out of uh, original designs to advertise, so I'll just use the most popular one. His neck is taking up a little bit of the design, but that's okay. He was supposed to be ripping those clouds from the nostrils like that 
emoji. There we go. Those are some fat clouds. Kanye West saying something woke. They already drew a realistic Zuckerberg. Maybe I should do, draw a realistic Kanye West. It might not be as relevant anymore by the time this video goes up. But still, I want to try to draw another caricature. And it gives me a widely known public figure to put in the thumbnail. Now, what is the woke thing he shall be saying? I know exactly what I will make him say. It's actually quite relevant to this channel. But before I reveal what it is, let's uh, color this. But maybe I should give him a body too. A nuclear explosion, but it's wearing shallow merch. I appreciate this creativity. Draw someone with a double belt or just a lot of unnecessary, impractical belts in their outfit. That's good. I like that idea. Because I used to do this. I used to draw belts everywhere on my edgy characters. I'm gonna save this one for later. But now I'm looking for a body for Kanye. Goth Ronald McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad that it's good. Kanye West wearing the you know I had to do it to him guys outfit. Oh, perfect. This is gonna be good and good. You know what? There's a belt in that guy's outfit. Maybe I'll do that double belt comment here. I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna put some belts where they don't need to be. But first, let's do the normal double belt. The one that Extrovert had. If you don't know who Extrovert is, good. One right here around the chest. A couple around the arms. Some around the thighs. Let's also do one around the forehead. This this is what I'm talking about. Fits in flawlessly, as expected. What shall he be saying, you ask? Good vibes, positive vibes. You might not know this, but a good vibes, positive vibes, positive energy is a Kanye tweet from years ago. That's where it came from. Nobody knew this except for the people that follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter, guys. Boss baby fursona. That's the only fursona I would draw. One of your OCs squatting in the background with a bottle of shallow water in his hands, squirting it at some ants, drowning them. I like that. Uh, you you have a vision in your head. Shallow water seems like a nice merch item I could make next, but I don't want to draw my OC, so let's uh, pick a character who is performing the water squirting. A troll wearing Fred Flintstone's lion cloth and sparkly pink flip-flops. I love that outfit. I want it in real life. Let's put an anthill here somewhere. Let's pretend that this is an anthill. Alright, so I'm gonna sketch my vision here real quick. He's squeezing the water bottle and uh, looking at the anthill. That's what came to mind. <laughs> The shallow water, though, I really need to think about that. He's got a very, very stressed face. I like what I see. This is the most imaginative thing I've done today. Oh, Christ, I just saw this and I wonder... This is great, actually. I like this. All right, back to what I was doing here. Now let's uh, draw that squirting water. Oh, why did that sound so wrong? I don't know. I enjoy drawing water, though. This is a nice, wholesome meme. After all of the try-hard dank memes I've done today, it reminds me of who I really am. The time for some shiding. <laughs> We're officially done with this one. It's time to draw this comment that I saved for later before. I'm gonna place him up here on this hill. This is uh, where he would be higher up than everybody else. This is the pose. Actually, yeah, I think this is a good placement for this activity. You don't really notice it at first because he's pushed to the side, but that's because you're not supposed to notice it. It's all going on secretly behind the scenes. 
Should I put some clothes on him or is this okay? I think this will do for now. I feel like he needs to have some sort of exotic skin color like purple. Normal is boring. All right, I forget. I almost forget the hair. This is the most original Chala channel OC that everybody has forgotten about. <laughs> it sticks out very much. Maybe I should decrease the brightness a bit. There we go. He is the one that summoned the water. All right, last drawing to finish this off. What shall it be? I also saved this one for later, so I think this is what's gonna happen. It's got 76 likes, so let's make them count. Now, he is the one that shall be in the water. Oh, hey. I like that. This is my reference. I'm just gonna make him old. He's supposed to be confused, but confusion can be expressed in multiple ways. Let's not be close-minded here. My whole life has just been confusion, and the way I've gotten through it is by just doing the okay hand sign. That's a nice yaoi hand, actually. I'm feeling a long beard here, but a very businessman-y haircut. There is no confusion in the face, it's just confidence. But but maybe that's a better message. Confidence is good. Only positive energy surround me. No confusion up in this household. Let's also draw the rest of the body that's underwater. This has got to be the weirdest episode so far, but there's a lot of action going on here. A lot of dynamic action that has not been present in the previous episodes. Thanks for suffering. Thanks for the viewing sesh.